Hey, thanks again for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate you being with us each week and I hope that you find this to be encouraging and strengthening uh, to your spiritual journey throughout the week. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, there is a great story uh, for the children of Israel about a time when there was a king named King Jehoshaphat. And in verse one of that chapter, it says that there are some people that are coming against the children of Israel. And they were the Moabites and the Anamites and the Mennonites, and I jokingly say the stalagmites and the stalactites as well. The point is they had formed an alliance together and they were all coming against the children of Israel. And together they were a mighty, mighty force. King Jehoshaphat, though, does the most important thing he could ever do and that you can do and that I can do in the midst of a crisis. He admitted and saw the crisis and acknowledged it. He said, this is too much for us to bear. We, we cannot do this. But then King Jehoshaphat did something that all of us have got to learn, to do, got to learn in our lives to do regularly. He paused, identifying the problem, identifying the magnitude of it. And then he says these powerful words. He said, God, we don't know what to do. So our eyes look to you. We don't know what to do, but our eyes look to you. You know, when you go through difficulties in life, it's important to remember that God never equipped you or built you, manufactured you, to carry all of that on your own. In fact, he made you and I to be dependent upon him. Why? Because he's our father and he loves us and he cares about us. I don't know about you, but I've often found in my life that I've made the worst mistakes in my life when I have failed to turn to God and look to God and decided to take matters in my own hands, decide to fix my own problems and my own issues in my own ability and in my own strength. But I've also found maybe you have as well, that the times that I have had the most guidance and direction and been able to grow the most even through challenging times was when I stopped, acknowledged the crisis, and I said in the same words of King Jehoshaphat, Lord, we don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but my eyes look to you. God tells King Jehoshaphat to just get ready and to go into battle, but he tells them, go into battle, and when they do, they go into battle praising God. Literally, they go into, God, go into the battle singing unto God. Not chanting, we're gonna get you, we're gonna beat you, no. They went into the battle singing praises to God. And if you know the rest of the story, God causes a great victory for the children of Israel on that day. You know, the singing of praises, what I say about that and when I think about that, I think, you know what, that's just the step of faith that they were taking in their lives because in praising God, they were acknowledging that they were God's, that they belonged to Him. And if there is going to be a victory, it's got to come from God. In fact, here's what King Jehoshaphat said to, the, to, the, to those going into battle. He says, hey, this battle, this battle's not your battle. This battle, he says, belongs to the Lord. This battle belongs to him. It's his battle. So let him fight it. Let him do his deal. Because he'll always do better than you or I would do in our lives in trying to fix and win the battles of our lives. God, I don't know what to do this week about my issue I'm facing. I don't know what to do about this challenge in my family, this challenge in my, God, I don't know what to do, but my eyes look to you. So show me, and I remember today that I belong to you. I'm your child. You watch over me, and I will trust in you. May God bless you, and remember, the battle belongs to the Lord. See you next week.